the Backwoodsman's Institute. I'm in the house getting some camping stuff ready and I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I came across years ago. Um, it's going to be a pretty short video but it involves Ziploc bags. Now Ziploc bags are awesome to keep stuff dry like you want to throw your cell phone in or your wallet or something if you're hunting or um, if you're just camping. Anything you want to keep dry. The problem with Ziploc bags are that they wear really easy. You'll find out if you have uh, Ziploc bags that you use for storage for a long time, they end up wearing thin, wear whole, or whatever. So that defeats the purpose of keeping your stuff dry. So what I'm going to show you is how I basically put armor on a Ziploc bag. Alright, we got our Ziploc bag, got our duct tape. What we're going to do, we're going to start at the bottom here, on the bottom of the Ziploc bag. Pull you off, off a little strip. You want it to be a little longer than the width of your Ziploc bag. Cut it if you want to to make it nice edge. Alright, then you're gonna take your Ziploc bag. I can get this off my finger. And you wanna put it onto your duct tape. You don't wanna cover it all the way up. So split it about in half, just like that. It's not too particular. Then you take this edge and fold it up onto the front side because your back side's stuck on the tape right now. Alright, doesn't have to be pretty. What we're going to do is we're going to trim our tails here. Make sure you don't cut the Ziploc bag. Alright, then we're going to lay out another strip. Alright, we got this strip laid out. Now as you can see, it's longer than the Ziploc bags, but I, I like to do this from here on out because I fold the tails to protect this seam on the edge of the Ziploc bag. If we're going to be working on the back side from now, it's just easier, it's less of a hassle. So. All you want to make sure is you overlap your duct tape on each layer that you do. So, just like that, smooth it out flat, take your tail, and fold it back over. Now we're going to do this all the way up this back side. Right. So now you got one side done. We can also do what I like to do at the bottom of it, where we cut our tail pretty close to the edge, put another wrap on there and fold it up as close as you can to the bottom, just to keep that from opening up and splitting out and causing the hole. And to do that, all you gotta do is line up the very bottom of it with the edge of your duct tape. Make it flat, do the tail again. All right, we got this one whole side done, flip it over, we do the same thing. Now we got both sides covered. We got a nice little pouch that'll hold up to a lot of wear and tear. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you kind of a modification you can do to it. If you wanted to add a, a handle, maybe you hang it on a branch if you're using it or something. I don't do it to all, uh, all mine. This is usually where I stop, but I'm going to show you what you can do um, if you choose to. Now, what I got here is a piece of 550 cord, however long you want it to be, your handle. Tie a knot in both ends of it. Peeled off a piece of duct tape long enough to wrap completely around this Ziploc bag. Then what I'll do is I'll lay it down where I want it to be on the top wise. I usually put my lanyard to the top. Then to the direct sides I'm going to put my 550 cord. Not at the bottom of the duct tape. Fold that tail over and pinch the 550 cord to the bag. Just like that. Now this next one, do the same thing on this side, this side right here. Knot at the bottom of the duct tape, and take this tail, put it over, and then line it up with the opposite end of your 550 cord on this other side of the bag right here. Smooth it out, and just wrap whatever you got left around. I told you it was going to be a short video, but there you have it. you got a Ziploc bag that will hold up for a really long time. i got one in my survival kit that has lasted me every bit of six years, if not more. Um, it, it's, it really adds to the life of the Ziploc bag. Now, when I use it for my survival kit, I'll pack my tinder out with me, like my dryer lint or other man-made tenders I can pack with me. But with something like this, with a lanyard, you're walking along, you see some dry, natural tinder there. Hang this on a branch, gather up your tinder. Throw it in here, seal it back up, and ready to rock and roll. Hope you all liked the video. Catch you in a bit.